So I posted on my community tab on Tuesday, what should my first realistic rebuild be on next gen? And it got over 10,000 votes in a day and the Minnesota Timberwolves won the poll. So that's the team we are rebuilding today. So I'm actually recording this on Wednesday, November 11th. You guys might be seeing this on Saturday, possibly Friday, but I think Saturday. So I'm hoping that no major moves are made. Uh, in that time period because that's why I haven't announced anything. There was a report today that Kevin O'Connor made that the Timberwolves are trying to trade up from 17 into the lottery, maybe targeting Atlanta at six. So I might use that idea in today's video. We'll see though. But there is a new draft class that I'm able to use here on 2K21 next gen that does have around 15 prospects, which is fine with me because I do plan on drafting somebody at number one and then trading up into the lottery. So we're going to get two real players today which is pretty hype. This was the one I downloaded. It was not this one by Mr. Legman. It was uh, some 2021 he actually had, um, even though this is the 2020 class, that actually has two more prospects than this one up here. So that's why I decided to use it. So we actually, I mean, honestly, I might go in a new direction with head coaching uh, and assistant gym. You know what? We're going to clear house in Minnesota. We are going to do that. I don't know. Mm, yeah, we're going to clear house here. So we did a new trainer as well. Uh, let's give him that. We need two assistant coaches. Wouldn't mind getting Ryan Williams, who won't, we can maybe will ball a little bit. And then another assistant coach we can get. Mm, I'm not going to sign Ryan Saunders as our assistant coach. Wes Unsell Jr., you know what? I would sign him as well to be an assistant coach. But who is going to be our new head coach? The, all these teams are going to block me from signing these guys, which is quite unfortunate. So I'm going to go. Oh, like Kenny Atkinson, I would love to get. I mean, I'm going to offer Kenny Atkinson a deal. We'll see if the uh, Clippers allow me to even talk to him or they might just block it. So we'll go after Abraham Navarro. He's got two good badges. And then we'll go after Jacob West, um, who has all right badges as well. And the... Okay, so we get Kenny Atkinson. That's pretty sweet. That's what I'm talking about. But West Unsell Jr. actually declined our deal. But let's give him a little bit more. And we have a whole new staff here in Minnesota. That's what I like to see. Kenny Atkinson has the former player badge. All right, so... So being it was more like a of a uh, tactician or a teacher. I was like maybe teacher, but I'm good with that staff now going forward. So it's draft night time, and you, there's been a lot of reports that the Hawks are trying to trade the sixth overall pick. It might be a true holiday deal. It might be to trade down to get more picks, maybe from like the Celtics or the Timberwolves. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna contact the Hawks for pick six because if we can get two top ten picks to build around Devo and Cat, that'd be pretty nice. So I'm gonna offer 17. Do they value Jarrett Culver? They do. And I thought about mm, possibly giving up a future. And I'm going to give you, I mean, I really don't have any other players to give in. I'll give you Nas Reed. I think that will get it done for six. I don't know in real life if this gets it done. Uh, they might have to throw in, I don't know, something else. But uh, we're going to offer this with Atlanta. And they agree to that. So we now have the sixth overall pick. Atlanta gets uh, Culver, who they, another guy that went in the top 10 in 2019. They maybe like him as a fit next to Trey Young. They get 17, and then they get Nas Reed as well, who could be their backup center, who I, I think is better than Bruno Fernando. So now we have two top 10 picks to build around D'Lo and Cat. This is perfect. All right, so with the number one pick, I did take Anthony Edwards. I don't know why it has him going to Wichita State. It has, what, Wiseman going to Memphis. Okay, that's right. Lamelo from Australia. So... How did you get the Wichita State wrong? Wow, why everyone else's colleges is right. But here was the top five, and this could be the top five on draft night. Um, wow, <laughs> Wiseman's an 85. That's a little OP. Uh, there's going to be better draft classes as this game uh, gets older. So two players, I was, oh man, a Kung Wu. Mm -hmm. I like Bissell. I like Bissell. I also like Patrick Williams, though. That's who I think I really like to put maybe at a power forward spot as he is 6'8 next to Cat. I don't think Vassell is more of a power forward. He's more of kind of a wing than a big. So I think I'm going to go Patrick Williams with pick six. Yeah, he's going to be the guy we're going to put next to Cat for the next, or at least for the video. So we take Patrick Williams out of Florida State with number six. So out of real prospects, Vassell went seven. So back-to-back -back Florida State players. Akungu eight to the Knicks. Denny to the Wizards at nine. Uh, there's the first auto-generated guy. But I think there was a couple more. Yeah, Cole Anthony went 13. Killian Hayes went 14. Jaden McDaniels went 16. And Halliburton went 19. RJ Hampton went 22. And that is it. Or Vernon Carey went 29. I wonder why he's in this class. Any other real prospects from this? No, that was it. But yeah, we're going to sign Anthony Edwards and Patrick Williams. Obviously. Now, I think Anthony Edwards will be our starting shooting guard. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with Malik Beasley. And that whole uh, legal aspect. So I'm not going to bring him back because, hey, he might not be playing for the Timberwolves anymore. So I'm not going to offer... Actually, I'll offer Jalen Noel a contract, not to Jacob Evans. 
Amari Spellman. We'll... We'll, yeah, we'll pick it up. Same with Josh Okogie. Honestly, I just kind of got in like the idea. I think I might turn on injuries for this rebuild, which I don't normally do, but you know what? It might add to the realism. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, is yeah, injury frequency. I'm going to bump it down to 35. So we're not getting, eh, I'll make it 40 and then we'll see if we want to, uh, either raise that or lower it. So we're going to give Hernan Gomez the qualifying offer, but like I said, Malik Beasy, we will not be bringing back. We'll give Vanderbilt and Jordan McLaughlin the offers as well. So I, we might have a little bit of cap space. I know we don't have enough to sign Giannis, but yeah, we have about 20 mil in cap space. And looking at our team, we have one, could use a backup point guard, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I wouldn't mind spending like $12 million on a small forward. Uh, Kawhi, no. LeBron, no. Ingram, no. DeRozan, uh, I don't really like that fit at all. Gordon Hayward. Ooh, I would like Gordon Hayward. That's using most of my cap space. Let's see. Is there anybody else we can go after? Kelly Oubre. I really don't need too much of offense because we could rely on Cat. Um, Cat. Uh, or I meant score because we rely on Cat, Edwards, and Delo. Uh, Oubre doesn't really offer a lot of playmaking. A lot of obviously scoring, isolation type offense. Hayward gives us passing um, and a little bit more defense as well. So that is an option. I don't know if there's a shooting guard. I'm like Oladipo. Oh, man. I can't afford Oladipo. You know what? I think I'm going to offer... Gordon Hayward to deal. We're going to... Mm, am I bidding against anybody? Uh, I am bidding against the Celtics who offered him almost 20 mil a year. All right. We'll offer him a three-year deal worth about 17 mil a year. Uh, we're going to front load the contract. We'll see if he chooses us over Boston. If not, that's okay. We will look to a plan B. Maybe getting Mike Conley as a backup point guard. Like a vet. 12 mil might be a lot, but we'll see what happens with Gordon Hayward, who we do not get, unfortunately. He goes back to Boston. So we're going to read out some rights on James Johnson, Malik Beasley, uh, Culver. I don't know why he's there. Uh, but yeah, we'll read out some rights on everybody there as Hayward goes back to the Celtics. So that's fine. I did expect that. I mean, getting Spencer Dinwiddie would be kind of huge. But I do... I kind of want a small forward. I kind of want a new small forward. I think Patrick Williams will be our power forward. We could go after Otto Porter. Just give us depth. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give Otto Porter a two-year deal worth about 8.5 mil, and he will probably accept that. And then we'll have about 12 mil to go after a point guard. I don't know if I want Conley. Uh, I mean, we could try to go after Rose, bring him back to Minnesota. Uh, I don't know though. You know what, we might bring back Chris Dunn to Minnesota. He's a good system fit, but I'm guessing our system, what is it, is it defense? Like I'm get, I can't see, or like who's our head coach? It is, uh, why did I forget who our head coach is at the moment? Why can't I see my staff? Ah, uh, there it is. So it is uh, Atkinson, who is defense, right? I believe he's defensive-minded. I'm going to change him to balance. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change it to seven seconds or less, and then I want to see, like, who's a better fit in free agency at the point guard position. So that would be, um, yeah, a lot of these guys. So, like, Schroeder would be perfect as a backup scoring guard. You know what? If we can land Schroeder on a three-year deal, I think that would be perfect. I'm going to give him, like, 11 mil a year. Would he accept that, though? And a player option on the third year. He declines that. Okay. Um, man, that would be kind of a huge signing. Uh, let's see. If I give him 12 mil a year for three years with a player option. Okay. He might accept that. Can we sign Porter and Schroeder? That would be kind of sweet. I will read out the rights on Vanderbilt and Jacob Evans for now. I don't know if it'll allow me to sign both of them. Uh, and it does. All right. Sweet. So I'm going to look for a third string center. Uh, we can go after Kyle O'Quinn. Why not? He'll give you eight minutes tonight. That's if someone gets hurt, because now I gotta, I gotta sign people for depth purposes. So we have one, two. I'm really excited to see Shooter as our sixth man. Three, four, five, six, seven, but Patrick Williams will be a power forward. Eight, nine. Okay, I'm, now I'm gonna sign one more power forward, just in case somebody gets hurt. Uh, we'll bring back James Johnson on a one-year deal. Why not? He, he's not gonna play, and then hopefully Hernan Gomez takes the qualifying offer. Is Johnson gonna accept this deal? No, he signs with the Bucks. Okay, dude. Um, that's fine by me. So, you know, we'll bring back Hernan Gomez on a two-year deal. We're at seven mil a year, but he's fairly young. I'll take it. And then I'll sign one more power forward, Myers Leonard. Doesn't hurt to sign him, and we get him as well. So, Cat actually regressed. Kind of concerning. Devo's up to an 87. We got Edwards there, Shooter, Porter. I feel like this could be a playoff team in the Western Conference. Also, we don't have our first round pick if we don't end up with a top three pick in the draft. So keep an eye on that. Yeah, so I don't think there's like a 2021 class. So we are going to just auto generate next year's rookies. Uh, trading cams, we have three of them. I do want to send Anthony Edwards to perimeter shooting. There we go. I want to send also, um, what do I want to do? I guess I'll send Cat to Big. Mm, do I want to do anything with Patrick Williams? You know what? I'm going to send Patrick Williams to untap potential, and then we're going to send Cat to big man defense. It was either Cat to big man defense, or now they call it low post defense, or Devo to perimeter defense, but I chose Cat, obviously. 
All right, so here's the rotation. It's going to be D'Lo, uh, Edwards, Porter, Patrick Williams, Cat with a five-man bench of Schroeder, Hernan Gomez, Akogi, Amari Spellman, and Jake Lehman. System proficiency is going to be three and a half stars, seven seconds or less. We'll stick with that. Our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is coming in. It's probably going to be pretty low, I guess. Uh, 19. Not bad. We will be completing for a playoff spot. We're completing, competing for a playoff spot. And the GM power rankings, we are coming in at, ooh, we are low. Whoa, we're, I, what did I miss thus? Where are we? Oh, we're at 20. Okay. So let's see. I will hop in if any injuries happen, but let's hope nothing. Uh, if it's a major injury, I'll hop on camera again. All right. Well, this injury sucks. Uh, Anthony Edwards has a cracked neck vertebrae and is out two to four months. So we are nine games over 500. We're actually having a very solid season. Uh, we started off really slow. We were like 0-7 to start of the season, but man, that hurts. So uh, they're going to roll. D they want to do D-Lo at the two. You know what? I'll let the CPU figure it out. So they want to do shooter at the one, D-Lo at the two. Williams, who's been... He's been bad this year. I'm actually going to put him on the bench for a Porter, who's also hurt. Um, but yeah, that, that really does suck that Edwards is most likely out for the year. So even without Anthony Edwards, we finished the season with a 44-38 and 38 record, which will probably be a playoff team in the Western Conference. Luka's your MVP. Cole Anthony's your rookie of the year. He was taken at 13 by the Pelicans. All right, I wonder if he was starting over Alonzo Ball. Brandon Clark's your sixth man of the year. He was phenomenal. Oh my God, he shot 54 from downtown. Did he actually attempt a lot of threes? No, he only attempted 11. Okay, never mind. Uh, defensive player of the year, Giannis, who signed with the Heat. Look at that. Marvin Bagley, most improved. He had a great season. And then Brad Stevens, your coach of the year, and Jacob Park. Wish you could tell me what team he's on because I don't know. So we made the playoffs as the sixth seed, taking on Luka and the Mavericks in round one, which is going to be tough. Did they add anybody? They added Alton Newton, who they took at 18, Alton Newton. Uh, now they signed JaVale McGee, and that's pretty much it. That's new in Jeff Teague. Oh, the Jeff Teague Revenge Series. Here we go. So if we look at the stats, d was incredible. He averaged 29 points, 3.5 rebounds, 7.5 assists, over a steal a night, 46 from 3, 53 from the field, 87 from the line. He's killing it. That That is an... All NBA season if I've ever seen one. Did he at least make the All-Star game? He made the All-Star game. Okay, that's why I like to see. And he was third team All NBA. We also inked him to a one-year contract extension, so he's under contract for two more years after this year. Only for 28 mil too, which is kind of a steal. All right, well, he was actually amazing shooting the ball this year. Oh, and you can also see like field goals against, so you can see that he wasn't like a great defender, also. But if we look at like Patrick Williams, like his field goal against, you could see it's a lot better. Like some people were cold against them inside or neutral. Wow, I actually like to see that on the like it's a good way to see if they were good on the defensive end or not. So wait, Patrick Williams must have shot over 30% from three, right? He had to. You know, how do you only shoot 26% from three? Unless I'm getting this shot shot wrong because, all right, he shot, if you can see in the bottom left above the break, he was all 42%, 35%, 38.9. In the left corner, he was 39%, but then just 27% in the right corner. How does that average out to 20? How does that average out to 26%? That doesn't make any sense. All right, whatever. I mean, he had a pretty bad year. Hernan Gomez wasn't that bad either. Uh, Anthony Edwards, rookie year, he was actually pretty good. Like, I would have been very happy with that season. It sucks he got hurt. He's still out for six to eight weeks. So, yeah, <laughs> he's out for the year. Uh, Dennis Shooter was phenomenal as their sixth man. He'll be back at that next year. Like, if we look at Kat's, like, shot chart, he was really good, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, his defense wasn't too good. Like inside, people were scoring 65.5% against them. But like Patrick Williams, it was way lower than that. But he shot 42% from three. Like, does that add up? Uh, that doesn't even add up. He didn't shoot anywhere above 42% from any zone. Unless I'm getting this wrong. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like none of this is adding up. You can let me know if I'm getting this completely wrong. All right, so can we maybe just, you know, winning one game against Dallas would be cool as we ended up losing game one. Luka had a triple double. All right, so we ended up only losing by six. Uh, I do actually want to look at the rotation. So we're starting Jalen Noel. No, I don't think we should do that. I think we should just go with the, uh, you know, let's go with the Akoji. Yeah, what you go? why isn't Josh Akoji playing? Uh, so we're going to give him 28 minutes. Sure, we'll give Porter 30. We'll do something like this. Yeah, I think this is a fine lineup. Um, instead of Myers Wonder, I'm going to give minutes to Jake Lehman. See if he can provide us more offense off the bench. As we, hey, we win game two with those changes. We actually kind of blew him out. We won by 19 points. D'Lo had 33. All right, D'Lo, I see you. And we go up two to one. Okay, the switches. The switches. Uh, Cattle was at a triple double. Almost, he had three blocks. Uh, Dennis Shooter, 22, three and three. D'Lo, 31 and eight. All right, can we maybe go up three to one? No, we end up losing by 12 points. Uh, as a Luca, you know what? Wait, did he get hurt? Oh, well, that's why. 
Luka got hurt. Where's he at? Where's he at? Luka Doncic definitely got hurt. Oh, wow. Sprain left knee out one to two weeks. Well, that's kind of huge. That is definitely huge. So can we maybe beat them? They don't have Luka. We're up three games to two. Let's go. All right. This is where injuries is helping us right now. Devo, 8 for 13 from 3. He had 35. Can we win in 6? Don't want to force a game 7. Wow. We get lucky that Luka gets hurt. And we are able to beat the Mavericks. We would not have beaten them if they had Luka. Hey, I'll take it. And the Thunder beat the two-seeded Blazers. So is there a chance we can go to the conference finals? Knock on wood. MCW, Shea. Oh, oh, I love. Oh, my God. These two wings together. Oh, my God. This trio. I would love watching that on a nightly basis. Would love that. Uh, CJ McCollum's off the bench. Luke Dort, Iggy, Norman Powell. Interesting team they got there. They also hired a new head coach. Let's see how long it takes for 2K to update it. His name is like Mark Daglo. Daglo. I could be pronouncing that completely wrong. And I need to make sure that's right. Uh, but, yeah, we should beat them maybe they do have a good team as they beat us by three in overtime in game one Shea drops 20 we're running michael carter williams drop 21 come on d -Lo. damn we're down 2-0 lose by 13 oh my god what a terrible fourth quarter collapse there Shea goes off for 27 and 10 and we're down three games to zero that hurts wow we're not even gonna put up a fight three to one all right can we maybe force a game six Otto porter drops 30 cat 27 and 16 He's been a little underwhelming in the playoffs. Not going to lie. He has been underwhelming. Uh, three games to two. Oh, wow. Can we force a game seven? Can we force a game seven? We cannot. We end up losing at six. But you know what? I will take that for our first season. We did get lucky with Luka getting hurt. But hey, a win's a win. We end up going to the conference semifinals. The Cavs win it all. And they have Bam out of bio. What? All right, they have Bam and Drummond. Lou Will. Markeith Moore. Or Monty Morris. Uh, Isaac Okoro. All right. They beat the Pelicans in five weird finals. You gotta say. So there was no staff retirements. Nobody making it to the hall of fame this year as these were the retirees. Nobody on our team, right? Uh, yeah, nobody there. League meetings. Uh, I'm not going to really do anything, uh, anything here. Allow seven day contracts. Sure. We'll approve that. Why not? I don't really think that's going to do anything for us. Draft lottery. We are going to be in here. The, uh, Warriors are going to get our pick because it's out of the lottery. So our pick, wait, why did we get it at 18? No, the Warriors are supposed to get that. All right, I'm going to trade that to the Warriors for nothing. Uh, I can't wait till the season starts so 2K can have proper contracts and draft picks and uh, rosters. It would be nice. So I'm just going to do this trade. They That pick belongs to them. We're going to keep the staff the same. I mean, the NBA draft, we don't have a first round pick. I don't really know much about these auto-generated guys. Did we have anybody that was 100% scouted? No, we did not. Uh, Nelson Cannon, top guy, Dwight Blackman, Mauricio Barbosa, Leandro's son, maybe Gary Payton's son as well in here, De'Aaron Fox's son, <laughs> uh, even though De'Aaron Fox is like 22. I mean, looking at our roster right now, like, we're fine at point guard. We could use, like, yeah, we're not going to be doing any trading, I think. Uh, I think this team is fine. I'm really hoping that Patrick Williams can improve next year. Definitely going to send them to perimeter shooting. So we actually drafted Blake Daniels in the second round. A 6'9 kind of combo forward out of Michigan. He's a 72 overall. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever play for us, but maybe if someone gets hurt. We'll give Jalen Noel the, uh, or we'll pick up his team option. Jimmy Butler's a free agent team with Harden, KD, and LeBron. Uh, only The only free agent I think that we could ever war over to Minnesota is Devin Booker. But I just don't see that happening. We'll give Josh Okoge and Amari Spoman the qualifying offers. But yeah, this is a loaded free agency class. Like three of the top seven players in the NBA are here. It's pretty nice to see. So, I mean, do we have any money? I don't even think we do. Uh, we have... No money at all, actually. But I'm going to look to get maybe another wing. Like, we could... Mm, Josh Okoge wants 14 mil. Not doing that. I think we can get what we want out of Josh Okoge and Dorian Finney-Smith, who's probably... Yeah, he's a better shooter as well. So I'm going to offer Dorian Finney-Smith a two-year deal worth around 12 mil. We are going to renounce the rights on Josh Okoge, Jake Lehman, Kyle Quinn, Myers Leonard, and Jalen Adams. So we get DFS, Daily Fantasy Sports. So we have 10 guys under contract. I'm going to sign about three more. Uh, we do want to bring back a Maurice Spellman to be our backup center on a two-year deal worth about 14 mil or 15.1. As you saw, we will go out and get a third string point guard. That could be Baz uh, Napier, a former Timberwolf as well. And then I will get another, hmm, we'll get another shooting guard. We'll get Tyler Johnson. Why not? So that will complete the team. Are there worse staff retirements? Like, wait, I'm so confused. What's going on? What's going on? Like, I want to press on staff retirements, but I'm so confused. I'm, oh, so it skipped over player progression. Uh, that's now just my summer league team. Okay, I, I guess it doesn't really matter to see staff retirements. What is going on? I, I don't know. Okay, I guess the season's just starting, and I'm not going to be able to send. What is going on? What was that? And I'm not even going to be able to send Patrick Williams. 
Damn, to uh, perimeter shooting, that sucks. All right, so here's the starting five, same as last year's with Dennis Shooter, Juan Hernan Gomez, Amari Spellman, and Dorian Finney-Smith off the bench. You guys gotta let me know in the comments, do you prefer injuries or would you rather not have injuries? Because yeah, we missed Anthony Edwards those whole playoffs. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we're back in the playoffs. So we ended the season with a 61 and 21 record. Kenny Atkinson was your coach of the year. That's what I like to see. We did not get executive of the year. That's fine with me. Tyrese Halberton. Oh, he fell to the Nets all the way at 19. He's killing it. AD's on the Knicks. RJ Hampton, six men of the year in Denver. I'd kind of like to see him in the Denver jersey, even though that kind of doesn't look like him. Whoa, De'Aaron Fox and AD are both on the Knicks, and De'Aaron Fox was on All-NBA first team. Would you look at that? LeBron is on the Bulls. Wow, okay. AD on the Knicks. Obi Toppin, already a stud for Chicago. I guess Larry Markkinen could be on the block. Nah, we're not getting shit for Larry Markkinen. And Kawhi is on the Raptors. Yep, but hey, there's Cat on All-NBA third team, and I missed the D-Well on All-NBA second team. We are the one seed, though. Round of applause for this team turning around. Shout out to Kenny Atkinson, the assistant coaches, Ryan Williams, and Wes Unsell Jr. And we're still not making money. <laughs> I guess their player payroll is too high. How are we not making any gate revenue? We're the best team in the Western Conference. Either way, we're taking on the Warriors in round one. So we got to take on the Splash Bros, Wiggins, Pascal, Wiseman. Oh boy. He's a good rebounder. Also, they 2K did Draymond Green dirty. I'm pretty sure Wiggins starts as a higher overall than Draymond. Like, come on. Why? That doesn't make any sense. So taking a look at the stats for this season, we don't have any injuries, right? Going into the playoffs, correct. No injuries. We're a fully healthy team. D'Lo and Cat were phenomenal. Anthony Edwards was great in his second year. Efficient as well. Shooter, great sixth man. There's Amari Spellman. I mean, Patrick Williams still can't shoot. That's why I want to send him the perimeter. Whatever. Uh, let me see his defense, though. If we look at his shot chart against, he'll goes against. So people could hit threes against them, but at least inside, you know what? I guess we want people shooting cold, right? Against, so he was all right. Maybe he was worse. Maybe he's not all that good. So maybe I should have taken a Devin Vassell or somebody like that. But I think I'm going to keep, let me, let me see this rotation. All right, so we're giving 35 to the big three. Uh, we're going to go 24 to Porter, 25 to Porter, 24 to Patrick Williams, 29 to Shooter, 22 to Hernan Gomez, 18 to Finney Smith, and 17 to Spellman. So that is the rotation. Game one against the Warriors. We pick up a victory. We blow them out. All right. You know what? Let me simulate the current round. Let me do it. I'm confident we'll beat them. We're up 3-0 and we sweep them and mm, Gunner Shooter gets hurt in game four. Pulled lower back muscle. He's out two to four weeks. Oh man, that hurts. He was, he was, oh my God, he shot 70 from three in round one. He went seven for 10. Damn, and he is hurt. So we did sign a third string point guard that will be Shabazz Napier. So he's going to get like 17 minutes a night. I don't even know what I want to do here. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like we have no offense on the bench, man. This is not good at all. Not good in the slightest. So we're just going to give more minutes to Otto Porter and Patrick Williams. That's going to hurt going up against the reigning Western Conference champion, New Orleans Pelicans. So they have Cole Anthony, Naw, Ingram, Zion. Montrez Harrell, so they signed him. Wow, he was great in round one. Oh, Malik Beasley Revenge Series. Look at that. He's Hutchinson and Joe Harris. They also have Lombardi and McCaw and Rudy Gay as well. A lot of forwards on that team. So game one, we win them. Okay, by one point. Oh. <laughs> All right, this series is going to be very close, isn't it? As we end up going up 2-0, though. We beat him by 18. Thank you, Towns. Thank you, D'Lo. Oh, my God. Anthony Edwards. Oh, my God. He is blossoming as a star in these playoffs. That's what you like to see. Man, I'm not going to say anything, but maybe Schroeder could come back in the Western Conference Finals. Knock on wood if we were to make it there. I spoke too soon. We lost by three here. Oh, no. Don't lose game four. Don't lose game four. Yes. Huge victory there. Nall drops 25. Williams in 24-14. But Edward drops 40. He is a superstar in year two. His first playoff run, he's killing a 25-6 and 8. 50 from three. Can we just win in five? Let's do it. Nope. We end up losing. It's fine, my mate. Just don't go to a game seven. Are you kidding me? Okay. Game seven. Uh, Shooter's back. Let's go. What are you going to give Shooter 30 minutes? And he's obviously going to hop in right into the sixth man spot. All right. Hopefully that's enough for us to beat. You know what? We're going to go like 19 or 100 minutes. We'll go 20 to Dorian Finney-Smith. He's at least shooting all right from three. All right. Game seven here. Winner takes on Dallas, who just swept the three-seeded Blazers. Don't lose this. Oh, not a good first quarter. No. We're going to blow a 3-1 lead. Oh, first time it's happened to me in 2K21 next gen. Oh, that hurts. All right, so let's see who wins it all. It is the Cavs. They go back to back. <laughs> what? All right, so we do have one final season. LeBron hanging it up. Let's see who makes it to the Hall of Fame. LeBron and Melo. They get their jerseys retired. Uh, LeBron by two teams. Melo just by the Nuggets. He'll get his jersey retired by the next, I feel. And Kyle Lowry by the Raptors. So our first round pick is at 29. Damn, that's not very useful. I think I'm going to keep Kenny. 
His ratings, I feel like, have gone down. Um, do we do we feel like Kenny can take us to the next level? Or do we go after a Nick Nurse, a Steven Silas, or a Doc Rivers? All right. I feel like Kenny's the guy that gets you back on track, develops your own guys, but then you can always do better. So we are going to fire Kenny Atkinson. We are going to offer Steven a contract. We're going to offer Nick Nurse a contract if he wants to come to Minnesota. And then we're also going to offer Doc Rivers a contract. I mean, Doc Rivers might not be much better, but let's see. All right, so we get Doc Rivers. That's who we're going to sign. Welcome to Minnesota, Doc. He maybe called up KG and KG told him how great Minnesota is. So let's see. Our two rookies are Gregory Ewing and Davar Postnov. They're not going to be much for us. Anyway, uh, we're picking up on the option, obviously, on Edwards. Shooter opts out, but I'm going to look to bring him back. Patrick Williams, oh, finally going to be able to send him to perimeter shooting. So do we have any free agents of our own besides Shooter, or is he it? So you have unrestricted Embiid and Jokic. We don't. We actually have like 11 mil, but we're going to probably use that on Shooter. Uh, there's some good unrestricted free agents, but we're going to look to bring back. We don't have room rights on Shooter, huh? All right, either way. I just want to bring back Shooter. There we go. We're going to bring back Juan Hernan Gomez to be our backup power forward. Do we bring back Jalen? Well, we need a small forward because freaking um, Porter wants to leave. I'm going to give him a one-year deal to come back. He's efficient. He plays good defense. Can we sign all three of these guys? Please allow me to. Thank you. I'm also signing Jalen Noel to a one-year deal as well. So play progression. This is going to be the final year. Let's see if this big three can take us to the promised land. All right. I wish I could send him to perimeter shooting like eight different times, but oh, I missed out on it last year. So I'm going to send d -Lo to perimeter defense, and we're going to send Cat to low post defense. All right. So here is the starting five, same as last year, and a very similar bench as well. System proficiency under Doc Rivers. Well, he wants to be grit and grind which is three and a half stars, which I guess we'll see if that works with them. Uh, whatever you want, Doc. We're coming in at number... Ooh, our GM power ranking is still really low. It's at 22, okay. And then our NBA power ranking is coming in at number seven. Let's hope that we can go to the big one this year. All right, so we're about to finish up the season and Otto Porter gets an injury. He's out two to four weeks. Uh, so is Amari Spellman. Everybody's getting hurt. And we still have another 14 games left. So, you know, he might be ready by the time playoffs starts, actually. All right. So, Cat wins MVP. Yeah. He averaged 30 points, career high. 13 rebounds, career high. Five assists, 54 from the field, 47 from three, 81 from the line. Yeah, it's championship or bust this year. Charlie Colbert of the year, he went number one to the Rockets. Andre Drummond, sixth man of the year, I'm guessing behind. Bam. Jonathan Isaac is your defensive player of the year. That's really cool to see. Tyrese Halliburton, most improved. Stan Van Gundy's coach of the year, so not Doc Rivers. Dylan Shaw, executive of the year, so not the DJR GM. So Luca is out four to six weeks. Wow. All right. Obi top and all be first team there is Kat. Did D-Will make maybe an all-be team? He, let's see. There's Halliburton. Wow, he's really good uh no d -well. that is sad to see but we are the two seed taking on the clippers okay we're gonna get dallas if we do win in round two but i do think yeah and then yeah got hurt on the last day of the year he is out for one or two weeks so i'm hoping the clippers don't upset us in the meantime they do have kemba walker who is regressing but he had a great season a solid season pretty good season but yeah he's slowly regressing as you can see uh they have Derek white adrian james 39th overall pick. Okay, auto generator guy. Kevin Love is 79. Ah, but they signed Jokic. I didn't think all that cap space. But yeah, we went over cap numbers. Uh, there is Devo, 25 and a half points, 8 assists, 44 from 3, 84 from the line. Edwards was still pretty solid. He was efficient as usual. Highest true shooting of his career. Uh, yep, highest true shooting percentage of his career. Darius Dennis Schroeder still being a great six man for us. Otto Porter, Spellman, Patrick Williams. Jalen Noel is going to start at the shooting guard position for us in the playoffs. All right, so here is the starting five going into round one with this four-man bench. Oh, let's just hope that we don't get upset by the... Okay, well, he's not even playing and we lose game one to the Clippers. Oh, my God. I need you back, Anthony Edwards. I need you back. Don't lose two games. Okay, there we go. We needed to win that one. That was kind of must-win already. Jalen Noel had a great game. Wow, okay. Patrick Williams, five turnovers, though. Please win game three. Yes. Yes, we won by 13. You love to see that. Kemba at 34 was not enough. He was not very efficient for the field, but he was efficient from three. I'll tell you that. Uh, wow, he only hit one other field goal besides uh, that was a non-three. But you know what? We're up two games to one. Napier, I don't care. I get scared when that comes up. But yeah, uh, we are up three games to one. D'Lo and Cat are killing it. Please tell me that Edwards is almost back soon. Oh my God. As Otto Porter breaks his left leg and he is out for the playoffs. Injuries are killing me. So we are going to start Gregory Ewing, who is the 29th pick in the draft. We're going to play him 17 minutes, sure. He might be good. He might be bad. We'll see. Uh, we're going to give Dorian Finney-Smith 25 minutes. And then we're going to give more to Jalen and Patrick Williams. All right, we are up three games to one. 
And it's three games to two. Okay. How is Anthony Edwards not back yet? How is he not back yet? But we do end up winning in six. I'll take it. Cat went off. Jalen Noel, man. Okay. He has definitely earned rotational minutes come when Anthony Edwards comes back. Maybe I'll move Anthony Edwards to the three. Oh, he's day-to-day. -day. Okay. He is somehow not back yet. Whatever. So we're taking on the Warriors, who we beat last year. They added Dario Saric, James Wiseman, Poole, Finley, Goga, Batatze. All right. Still beatable. Let's see how game one goes. As Okay. Anthony Edwards is back. Beautiful. I'm actually going to bump him into the small forward slot. Yep. Let's do that. Let's move. Do I not play Gregory Ewing? Um, no, we'll give like, mm, Spellman 15, Herm Gomez like 14, we'll give, I don't know, like, we'll do something like this, maybe Ewing's pretty good, maybe he's better than, uh, oh wait, mm, okay, let me do like 27, 25, and then we're gonna do, uh, 32 there, man, I gotta choose, do I want Ewing playing, yeah, I think I want him playing over Dorian Finney-Smith. Or no, I'm going to actually have him over... Yeah. Oh my god, Hernan Gomez has been horrible. Yeah, he's getting benched. 100%. Alright, so this is the rotation. This is the starting five. And then this is the four-man bench of Schroeder, DFS, uh, Spellman, and Ewing. Alright, game one against the Warriors. We win. You love to see it. We win by 17 points. Devo has 34. Cat has 24. Uh, Edwards' first playoff game um, in, your, in his second year of the playoffs. Or second playoff appearance. Um, is pretty good. Uh, game two, pick up the win by three points. We're winning the close ones. That's what matters. Game three, please give me a victory. No, two to one. Okay, please win game four. Yes, we're up three games to one. We win by 30 points and we have a chance to put them away in five and we do. And we're going on to the conference finals. Let's go. Patrick Williams had a great game five there, but we're taking on the eight seeded Suns. We have Tyrese Maxey at point, Devin Booker, Alan Bellamy, who... Is a 15th overall pick, uh, auto generator guy. Same with Ari Person. Doesn't look that good either. Aiden Good, Lonnie Walker, Cameron Johnson, Bertans, Carter, and Nicholas Claxton. Beatable. We win game one. Man, we should beat this team 100%. I shouldn't even be nervous about this series. As we're up 2 0, let's go. We win by 13. Come on. Bring me to the promised land, Doc Rivers. Bring me to the promised land. D'Lo killing it. Shooter. I love him as the sixth man. Edwards is having a great playoffs. Cat is continuing his MVP season. Ooh, and Jalen, man, he's kind of came out of nowhere. He's probably progressed. Like, he's not been up overall, but he has been good. He has been good for us. And can we sweep them? Let's do it. Nope. Gentleman sweep. You know, it was a gentleman sweep. They needed 31 out of Lonnie Walker to keep that series alive. And we end up winning in five. Let's go. We're going to the NBA Finals. To take on a team trying to three-peat this Cavs team. Okay, I guess I got to get replicate this Cavs team because it is OP. Just get three good centers and you're going to uh, go for a three-peat every time. All right, let's see what happens. Game one, ugh, we lost by 28. All right, all right. Game two, oh no, oh no. There's just a dynasty in Cleveland. Okay, two to one. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Game four, this is must win. And yes, it. and we do win. We win by one point. What a fourth quarter comeback. Let's go. Can we go up three games to two? No, we cannot. All right, please force a game seven. Come on, force a game seven. Da, Cat, Demo, Edwards. No, we're not going to do it. You know what? Round of applause. You got to respect the Cavs. They three-peated. But you know what? I will take a finals appearance. I will. So, yeah, that's weird in the video that the Cavs three-peated. Adebayo gets his second finals MVP. But, yeah, that is going to be for me. That was a super fun, realistic Timberwolves rebuild. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But mainly let me know. Which team should we do next? The draft is on Wednesday. Then we have free agency shortly after. You know we're going to get trades sitting up to the draft. I'm very excited. But yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.